Hello, I'm Bruce Bennett from AAA Metal Suppliers and for the next few minutes I'll show you how simple it is to use our System S. This system is for use on metal posts both round or square. System S is easy to install on both types and works just as well on both. First, let's look at what you will need to install System S. For the anchor points, you will need both left-hand threaded blind rivet nuts, which I've coloured red, and right-hand threaded blind rivet nuts, which I've coloured black. These are inserted into the metal tube using a blind rivet nut insert tool. This is the type of blind rivet nut tool we hire to our customers. You will also need left and right hand swage studs, which will be hydraulically swaged onto 3.2mm diameter 1x19 construction stainless wire. When assembled, the left hand threaded ends screw into the left hand blind rivet nuts and the right hand threaded ends screw into the right hand blind rivet nuts. After marking out and drilling the holes in your posts, Begin by inserting and crimping a right hand blind rivet nut into each one. If possible, spray the mandrel with some form of lubricant. This will make it easier to release after the blind rivet nut is crimped. Next, screw the right hand blind rivet nut onto the right hand mandrel. Make sure the centre leg is pushed all the way in when crimping the right hand blind rivet nut. This is important or you will have difficulties releasing the blind rivet nut from the mandrel. The distance the blind rivet nut insert screws into the mandrel can be adjusted depending upon the thickness of the tube. We usually pre-adjust the blind rivet nut tool to work on tube with a wall thickness of 1.5 to 2.5 millimeters. If your tube is thicker, the blind rivet nut tube will have to be adjusted. Next, push the blind rivet nut into the drilled hole and squeeze the handles together. This will crimp the blind rivet nut to the post. Here we see the blind rivet nut crimped into position. To extract the blind rivet nut tool, fully release the handles and pull the centre knob out. If you don't fully release the handles, the mandrel will not rotate and come free from the blind rivet nut when you pull the centre knob out. If you are still unable to extract the blind rivet nut tool, just turn the centre knob anti-clockwise to release the right hand mandrel after crimping. You must always support the insert tool when you are doing this or you may snap the mandrel. In case you missed it, here it is again. First, push the centre leg back in. Position the right hand blind rivet nut on the mandrel. Push the blind rivet nut into the holes and squeeze the handles together. Release the handles fully and support the insert tool. Pull the centre knob out to release the right hand blind rivet nut from the mandrel. Repeat the process until you have crimped in place all of your right hand nut inserts. You now need to insert the left hand threaded blind rivet nuts into the opposite posts. This is a similar operation to inserting the right hand nut inserts, but first you must change the mandrel to a left hand threaded mandrel. This is very simple and only requires you to unscrew the knurled collar on the centre leg and remove the mandrel rod. Then remove the mandrel in the shaft by tipping up the tool and allowing it to fall out. Insert the left hand threaded mandrel and then replace the mandrel rod, making sure the rod tongue connects with the groove in the base of the mandrel. Next screw the knurled collar back on and it is ready for use. 
Lastly, test that the tool is operating properly by pulling the centre knob in and out. The mandrel should rotate freely. To insert the left hand blind rivet nuts, begin by spraying some lubricant onto the mandrel. This will make it easier to release it from the crimped blind rivet nut. For crimping the left hand rivet nuts, you must check that the centre leg is pulled all the way out. This is important or you'll have difficulties releasing the blind rivet nut from the mandrel. It is good practice to always pull the centre knob out each time you screw a left hand rivet nut onto the mandrel. Screw the left hand blind rivet nut onto the left hand mandrel. Next, push the blind rivet nut into the drilled hole and squeeze the handles together. This will crimp the blind rivet nut into the post. Fully release the handles and push the centre knob in. If you don't fully release the handles, the mandrel will not rotate and come free from the blind rivet nut when you push the centre knob in. If you are still unable to extract the blind rivet nut tool, just turn the centre knob clockwise to release the left hand mandrel after crimping. You should always support the insert tool whilst you are doing this, or you may snap the mandrel. In case you missed it, here it is again. First, pull the centre knob back out. Position the left hand blind rivet nut on the mandrel. Push the blind rivet nut into the hole and squeeze the handles together. Support the insert tool and release the handles fully. Push the centre knob in to release the left hand blind rivet nut from the mandrel. Repeat the process until you have crimped in place all of your left hand nut inserts. You are now ready to measure and cut your wires. Firstly, measure the inside distance from anchor point to anchor point. From this distance, deduct 55 millimeters. This is the length you will need to cut your wires. For example, if your inside measurement was 2,355 millimeters, you would need to cut your wires to 2,300 millimeters. Always check with us as to the correct amount to allow when you cut the wire, as this will vary depending on the length of the terminal studs you use. Wire rope is very strong and can be difficult to cut. Use a pair of parrot beak wire cutters to cut your wire to the desired length. To hydraulically swage the terminal studs to the wire rope, turn the pump valve of the mini hydraulic swager clockwise. Place the terminal swage stud into the jaws and start pumping until the jaws are just holding the terminal stud. Don't over pump at this stage or you will crush the terminal stud and you won't be able to push the wire all the way in. Push the wire all the way into the swage stud and then continue to pump until the jaws are nearly touch. Turn the pump valve anti-clockwise about a quarter of a turn and allow the pressure to release. The jaws will come apart and you can remove the swage stud which now has the wire firmly attached. If done properly, the tensile strength of the crimp should be approximately 800 kilograms. You should check the shape of your crimp against the test sample crimp supplied with the mini hydraulic swager. Do the same for all your wires, remembering that each wire must have a left hand threaded terminal stud on one end and a right hand threaded terminal stud on the other end. To avoid mistakes, we recommend that you colour code your studs so you don't get them mixed up when swaging. You are now ready to install your wires into the blind rivet nut inserts. Taking the wires with the, a left hand threaded stud swaged on one end and a right hand threaded stud swaged on the other, it is a simple process to screw the left hand stud into the left hand nut insert. Just a few turns to get it started and the right hand stud into the right hand nut insert. Continue rotating the wire until it is tensioned. It only needs to be firm and not sagging, not piano wire tight. Be careful not to over tighten the wire as you can exert a tremendous amount of force on your posts if you try to make the wire too tight. 
Once the wire is tight, you can use lock nuts to fit the wire in position. Remember, to comply with VCA regulations, the wire only has to support a 2 kg weight without deflecting more than 5 mm from its original horizontal position. You have now successfully installed your balustrade wires using our System S. If you are using System S for an inclined balustrade, such as stairs, we recommend using swivel connectors screwed into the anchor points. A left hand threaded swivel connector joins the left hand nut insert into the left hand swage terminal and swivels to incline one end of the balustrade wire. A right hand threaded swivel connector joins the right hand threaded fastener to the right hand swage terminal and swivels to incline the opposite end of the balustrade wire. To enhance the look of your balustrade you may wish to fit our easy to use 9mm diameter split grommets. Open the grommet with a suitable implement, in this case we're using a pen. Hold it to the wire, remove the pen, slide the grommet along the wire and plug it into the post. It is easy to maintain a good surface finish on your wires and avoid possible discoloration by applying some car wax. This only takes a moment, but gives months of protection. Remember, AAA Metal Suppliers for all your balustrading needs.